the last time you did something for the first time? Anything. Something you've always dreamed of. Or something simple that you're curious about. Or maybe just <laughs> something stupid. What if I say you got 60 days to do anything you want? What would you do? Where would you go? Okay, we are finally leaving the north. We're going to Kerala. No more winter, no more cold weather. We're gonna be on a tropical weather again. Th to be fair, we've spent the last month living as cheap as possible. Yeah. Backpacking, couch surfing, yeah. sleeping on Five. the street, eating trash, and begging for people. That was you, Chambadi. We flew to the warm tropical state in the Malabar coast. To the first city, Kochi. You feel rich already? Is that garlic? No. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Alright, we deserve some luxury life. So we looked up the best the best hotel to stay in, the most expensive one as well. And we ended up here. Cost 21,000 until 25,000 rupees a night. Think about how many Taco Bell burritos you could get with that. Think about it. Gosh. The last month, the meals we ate was probably never above 100 rupees per meal. But here, <laughs> it's five times more. Wow, this sauce is so good. Fancy dinner, fancy breakfast. Total cost for our stay there was roughly around 50,000 rupees. <laughs> After Kochi, we continued the journey to the beach district called Marari. And guess what? We looked up for another most expensive hotel in the city. And good morning from Marari Beach Resort, also the same company as the Branton Boatyard which is owned by CGH Earth. And we're not currently having so much fun shooting at the room. This is actually not that easy as you thought because we moved a lot of things to get the best view. We also need to look up for the best lighting, so look at the shadows and blah blah blah. And at least we're working so hard. This resort is kind of different than the last one though. It's just more magical. The staff keeps smiling at you. They over this and that. They give you tea. Butterfly farm with beautiful flowers and ooh, they have vegetables, cows, flowers everywhere. Oh boy. Seriously, we're like super done with the luxury life. We continued the backpacking adventure to the city that surprised us, Alipi. Good morning! It's another sunrise mission, but it's gonna be different because we're gonna take a boat tour. This is our boat today. This is our driver today. And so this is actually the main thing to do in Alipi, where the tourists just go on a boat and go to the river. They call it the backwater. Um, there are lots of different kind of backwater tour. You have three hours of tour, you have seven hours of tour, include lunch, and you have also overnight tour. But we're not taking, I think, a special tour, hourly tour. We're taking it in very early morning, which is nice, like... 7 a.m. and we're paying like 600 rupees per hour. We're taking it for three hours. Again, why we actually moved to smaller boat is because we need the smaller canal, narrow canal, and Ali really desperate for a picture. Yeah. I haven't had a good picture in India for a while now. I'm starting to grow my picture virginity back. We're going to a smaller canal. Get the fucking banger, get the likes, get the follows, you know, that's what life is all about. <laughs> <laughs> the entrance to the smaller canal.
Jadi mulai dari sekarang, katanya Ali mau belajar bicara bahasa Indonesia Betul? <tuh> Saya belajar bahasa Indonesia ya. Bagus Saya kucing besar <tuh> Saya bicara Speak Talk. Betul Saya belajar Kamu belajar Saya tidak belajar bahasa Kamu belajar bicara bahasa I'm learning to speak Uh, Belajar is learning. Yes. Oh, finally. Here we go, Munar. Our last stop. Yeah, I'm excited. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm excited to get this over with. The last seven days in yeah. India. <laughs> Good day from Munar. Finally, this is our last destination. And yeah, we just checked in last night. This is our guest house. It's 700 rupees a day. And we're now going to explore the tea. Good day, Mr. Ali. Good day, Mr. Tampon. <laughs> we're going to hike. We got our enemy. What? Stairs. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> how old are you, Ali? What? People want to know how old are you. Really? <sighs> okay. I'm 43. I have two daughters. I have a third daughter coming. Her name's gonna be Elizabeth. Your country? <laughs> I'm from the US, but originally from Iran. Oh god, fuck, dude, I'm so tired. A lot of people ask, are you single? Mm, as of right now, yeah. But, yeah, I'll probably stay single for a while. What's your type? Mm, it's a tough one. I really like blondes. My favorite is Muslim girls with hijabs. <laughs> <It's> Jakarta. <laughs> Just DM me. <laughs> this looks like West Java. Wava. Wava. Oh, it's so pretty. Munar is our last destination before flying back home. And from now on, we got only four days left to explore. I guess, better make it best. Good day, this is second day of Munar adventure and I wanna tell you the secret. Why do we come to Munar and actually why, why does Ali come all the way to India? Um, I just saw one picture that you see all over the internet of Munar. And I've never seen anyone else take it, so I've just been hunting for it. I'm gonna go see if I can find it. What if we couldn't find it? We're not leaving India. I will continue my visa. I will stay here forever until I find that picture. Woo! Okay, today we're going to explore Munar by motorbike rent for 400 rupees a day. That's a fucking hour away. 30 kilometers. Wow. 30? 30, whoa! Ready for the adventure of a yes. lifetime. It's raining and we keep on driving. We're stupid. Back. Go back. Okay. Everyone I ask says something different. And they're all 100% sure. This is Matapati Dam. So it seems like it's very, very hard to find that spot that Ali wants to go because everyone says different direction. We are lost. We don't know where to go. We don't know who to trust. Now Ali's still asking. They're saying it's in the Ravakulam, or how do you say it, National Park, and it's closed right now, which is really annoying because I really want to get that picture. We don't know who to trust yet, right? <laughs> this place name, Naimakar. Look at that, another place. Look at this, oh, wait, wait. That way. 70 kilometers, that place won't stop. Okay. The place name is here, the Chinna Kona. So we just came to the official, oh, I don't know if it's official, but it's a tourist information center, and I showed them the photo, and then we spent 15 minutes of me debating with him that what he says is wrong. <laughs> Get so frustrated, because <laughs> they're all so sure that they know exactly where to go, but they have no idea. Hopefully we find this stupid, I fucking hate this picture. I want it. <laughs> We see a mountain that looks like something in Ali's picture. This probably is. I don't know. Is Where's it? 
That's it. Yes. I guess this is it. Oh, wait. Is this it? Yay. Look at that sky. It's crazy. So we found a spot, but the thing is, it's just not a good lighting now. We're gonna come back here again tomorrow morning for our sunrise. That's the mountain, and this is it the moment that Ellie's been waiting for the whole time, whole his life, waiting for this picture. Uh, not really. <laughs> is Maybe. he getting his shot? Yeah. Is he getting 4,000 likes? <laughs> whoa, whoa. Whoa. That's not that much. So, what happened, my friend? It's bad sunrise. Look at the colors, it's nothing. It's ugly. Good morning, 6 a.m., another sunrise mission, and we're going to the same spot again. I'm not really sure. Is he gonna get the shot today? Everyone I ask says something different. Hopefully we find this stupid. I fucking hate this picture. 4,000 likes. Stay here forever until I find that picture. But is this a good light and color now? Yeah. Well, not anymore, but we had it for a few seconds. Next question. Next question. Munar ended our journey in a magical way. But before we leave India, we really want to do something meaningful in our last day. And here it is. Good morning and this is our final final day in India. And before we leave India, Ali really wants to do something that he <laughs> always wants to do when he is in India. This is gonna make my life a lot easier because I want I can just walk and the people will know the things they need to know. I can avoid the conversations that last five seconds. Do you know where I'm coming from? Yeah, I know. My name? And how much a selfie costs with me? Okay, we're ready to leave. We packed and it's time to take a picture of the last picture in India. Right? Yeah. Sad. Alright, get in here. Oh. I fucking blinked. If I have 60 days to do anything I want, I would do the same way we did in India. The way we camped below stars in the middle of desert. The way we get frozen in the enchanting winter wonderland of North India. <laughs> to me, this is a journey of memories. Memories that bring me back to where I started everything. To so again meet the people that have been a part of my journey. Jane, good to see you again. After three and a half years, walking around the city again in this street reminds me of our old journey. Yeah, we were on bike and yeah, going right. to, yeah, that's first time I met. You have become a family now. Give me a hug. <laughs> Yo, Jane, welcome back. If I have 60 days to go wherever I want to go, I would go as far as I can to catch my dreams. I would spend time with my best friends, to travel, to dance, to write more memories. This is a big story. A story of great adventures. This is incredible India.